Hi there, my name is Sandy Lebeck, and in this blog I'm road testing a tool which is designed to help us understand why we're going where we'd like to go. So yesterday I sat down and worked out what my ideal day in my amazing life would be like. Have you ever done that? It's quite fun. You basically sit down and you just work out you know, the kind of lifestyle you'd like to be living, where you'd like to go, who you'd like to know, what you'd like to be doing, who you'd like to be doing it with. And I know that I'd like to basically upgrade my entire life. <laughs> At the moment, it's kind of like a two or three star vibe. I'd like it to really go up to a five star vibe. At the moment, I'm filming this in a school where I teach Zumba classes. And it's quite nice, but, you know, not really high luxury. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, it served me well, but I know that more is possible. So the tool, the tool is basically to ask yourself why you'd like the things you say you'd like to have. And you need to keep asking yourself this with each thing you get to. To get to a kind of core value or a target, some people call it a purpose, I like to call it a target, it's kind of nice and light and airy. And you just keep asking yourself why you'd like the things you say you'd like to have. Okay? So I guess it works best when you've got someone with you. I don't right now. So I'm going to pretend to be someone else. So get ready for some funny voices. So I would like to upgrade my lifestyle. I'd like to be making at least $30,000 a month and really to just change my whole financial reality. <laughs> you know, just that. So, why would you like that, Sandy? Well, I'd like that because then I think it would give me more headspace, more energy to put into things that I would really like to do instead of worrying about money, <laughs> which does take up quite a lot of my headspace at the moment. Although, it's changing, but I know that if I didn't ever really have to worry about money coming in, then that would just really change my whole way of being in the world. So why do I want that? Why do you want that, Sandy? I'd like that because then I know I'd be way more carefree than I am now. And that I would be truly, probably more myself. So why do I want that? I'd like that because I know that if I was really being myself all the time, I know I'd be unstoppable. And I know that I could help other people to be that more easily than I can now. So why do I want that? I'd like that because I, I genuinely enjoy helping other people. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I just know that when I really think about it, one of my favorite things work-wise or life-wise is when I get messages from people or when people tell me that something I did has helped them. And it could be anything. It could be, you know, they've lost weight from dancing or it could be that they don't have to have a massive operation anymore or it could just be that they're more inspired with their life than they were before. Anything like that. So why do I want that? I'd like that because I really notice how many people around me are quite unhappy. And that really makes me sad, to be honest. <sighs> Especially when it's young people. And it's quite interesting because filming this is bringing up some kind of energy, some emotion in me that I didn't even realize was there. <laughs> so I'd really like to, to be able to help young people to start their lives from a great place and not create crap and have to fix it all. <laughs> Maybe they'll be like me and like doing that, but I'd love to be able to help young people just really get off to brilliant start so why would that so then I have to ask myself so why do I want that I'd like that because I'd like to live around happier people <laughs> to be honest I don't 
I've never really enjoyed being around other people very much. And when I think about that, I think it's because a lot of the time, I really notice when people aren't that happy. And I don't really find it that fun to be around people that aren't super happy. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, you know, I was majorly depressed myself for a long time and that's probably why I notice it so much in other people. And I think I'd just like to live on a planet, on a really general sense, where there are people that are happy, where people support each other, where people aren't suspicious of each other, and where anything is really possible. So as I'm saying that, I'm getting really excited. And so why do I want that? Because I think if there was more of us living like that, then the planet would probably be a more fun place to be. You know? You know like when you go into a house and the vibe is just really fun. Everyone feels kind of happy, it's easy to be there. You don't really want to leave. I'd like the planet to be a bit like that. <laughs> I think to me sometimes the planet feels like the kind of house you go into and you're just like, what the fuck, how can I get out of here? And I know that's been the case for me personally for a long time. Uh, and I know that the fact that I even noticed that it's like that, and I know this, uh, the fact that I even noticed that it's like that and that it annoys me, is a personal indication that it doesn't have to be like that. So. When I really dig deep, why am I here? I'm here because I'd like to, I'd like to personally be happy because I know that then I could be just of more help, more use to other people. And I didn't come here just to, just to hang out. <laughs> oh yeah, I know some people say that you're just supposed to come and, and have fun and, and I do like having fun but as long as I can remember, I've been involved in political campaigning. I started doing that at school, did it for you know nearly 15 years, made a career out of it. And I could just go off and sit on a yacht, on a cruise ship, but I don't think, I think I'd get really bored of that after a few days. So when I really look at what makes me happy, it's when people tell me that something I wrote, or even if it's not me that wrote it, but if I just pointed them in the direction of someone who wrote something that did help them, stuff like that, that's what really gets me going. When I get those kinds of messages on my computer or a text message or someone tells me, that's the kind of thing that really sort of takes my breath away and really gets me happy and I even keep those messages, I have a whole box of them and when I'm feeling down or strange I get that box out and I look through it and it just it just plugs me back into something that this exercise has helped me really become clearer on so I hope that this hasn't just been one long ramble and that it might help you and uh, I'm sorry about the harsh office lighting as well so just to recap the tool is to really ask yourself why you'd like the things you'd like to have and just to keep going at it so why would you like the first thing okay and why would you like that why would that be important why would that be important and it can be quite annoying because you're like well i'd just like to be happy why do you want to be happy oh i'd like to be happy because then uh, it would show other people they could be happy okay why is that important because then they'd be happier people why is that important because then the planet would be more fun to live on why is that important because then <laughs> the planet would just be totally different. You see what I mean? So there you go. Thanks for watching. And uh, what would make, why are you here? You know, Layla Black threw this question out and, and that kind of inspired this video. So I'm going to throw it out again and ask you why you're here. Why are you here? Why are you here? <laughs> so make a video or we'll write it down and tell me in the comments, okay? Thanks for watching and see you, bye.